Okay. What is the base number that we presently have for the proposed? Uh, twenty-eight million one hundred seventy-eight thousand five hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Assuming that all of these adjustments that I gave to you, I had sent them in an email a week or so ago, but I put them in this format that's familiar to our budget books that um, are all, some of them were motions that have, the committee has already changed and other ones were things that have been discussed and I was asked for numbers on, so. And what do we have for a uh, default? The default budget is twenty-seven million five hundred and ninety-five thousand one hundred and sixteen. The delta. The default, the nineteen budget versus the nineteen default is five hundred eighty-three thousand four hundred thirteen. That's the. Uh, Between the, the nineteen. Just the operating budget requested and the default. The That's budget the committee budget. Yep. 583-413. I thought it was close to 600. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you were almost right on. Mm -hmm. It was very close. Okay, I got the, the, the Warren article on the monitor with the numbers that we just heard yep. plugged in. So you can tell me if I'm wrong or not. Uh, mm -hmm. But that's where we're going to proceed from is that base. Okay? That's what I have, yes. Okay. Great. We're all on the same page, or screen at least. <laughs> Comments, questions on the budget one. We're going to be dealing with uh, the proposed budget, not the default budget, That's as correct. you know. Um, and we're going to be dealing with it just like we did last night with the <coughs> SAU 90. We're going to vote to move a specific number into this one article. I have tentatively put one in there now, but it's tentative. And that's this one right here. We're going to move that and discuss, yeah. No, we're not going to move it. Um, I'm just saying we need to move a number into this warrant. Oh, correct. Into this yeah, warrant. we have it. The and so we're going to decide what that number is, and then subsequently we'll decide whether we recommend That's the correct. warrant itself. Okay? It's just a reminder, same thing we did last night yeah. with the figure 90. Mr. Warburg. Um, I don't know if we want to take these together, but one of the first motions that I want to make, I want, and, and Christy, you could help me on this, I want to reduce the parking enforcement unit to the net, to 2018 numbers when recreation Diana Martin when it was under her and I also want to exclude any raises that are in this proposed budget for a parking administration yes okay. which would obviously take out that 22,000 director or whatever they're calling these mm -hmm. people so I, I'd like to uh, make that motion where is that Brian that in it's under the, the budget book no, but I mean we have a number for that, Christy. Well, this is the first time I've been asked. Right. So. No, I understand it. Yeah. Um, let's see. So if you're looking, oh, I went to Parks and Rec. Sorry, we're talking about parking administration. Hold on, I went to the wrong tab. <laughs> you can look at this. Remember, it's not a lot. Okay. Do we need a second before she does that? So in 2018. We need a number. Oh, number, that's right. Well, if you're just looking at the 2018 budget, if that's the number that you're looking for, it's 84,000. Seven hundred and twenty-six dollars. Right. Yes. And that number represents the 2018 budgeted parking number. Unit. I think that's what he was asking for. For a parking administration. Yes. So eighty-four thousand. Okay, eight eighty-four thousand seven twenty-six. Yes. That would be about right because the proposed is one thirty-seven. The proposed is one thirty-seven two hundred and thirteen dollars. Right. One hundred thirty-seven thousand two hundred and thirteen dollars. So yeah. you want to flatten that out? Is that what you're saying? I want to flatten that right out to the, uh, not even with the actual. I want to put the request, the budget amount was eighty-four thousand seven twenty-six for two thousand and eighteen. The current That's budget. Correct. Yep. So that will. Yep. Can I we get a delta on that? 
So we know what we're reducing by, or proposing to reduce by. Fifty-two thousand four hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Fifty-two four eighty-seven. Yes. The only thing I'll point out there, the one item that you may wish to leave in, is that the um, lease for the Church Street lot goes up by a thousand each year. So it's going from twenty-one to twenty-two thousand um, in nineteen. So just to point that out. We're about, what about, what about uh, parking attendant raises that have occurred, if any? He took those out. He asked me to remove them, so I'm right. giving him the number. Yeah. That is, you asked for the 18 budget number. No, no, I, and so I, that's I'm why happy I gave with what you, you said, but I wanted to add on this lease thing. We seem to find money to do a lot of things. Okay, I'm just pointing it out. $1,000, I don't want to touch the lease thing. I want that number 84726. Right, I'm assuming that you don't want to take away the raises already given to the parking attendants, right? Not to take any raises, any new raises that that, that we talked. Mm -hmm. Well, she's giving you 2018 numbers, which right. don't include any raises that occurred in 2019. Excuse me, in 2018, right? Well, no, 2018 because they may have been paid out of the merit pay thing. Not the thing. parking lot, I don't think. I don't know. They're, they're seasonal. Uh, yeah, I don't think they were in the merit. No, they there was no raises for them in 2018. I don't know if there was any raises for them, but there was no raises off of the merit line. I don't yeah, know so if they okay. had any pay okay. increases. So we, we, I assume you don't want to cut anyone's pay, basically. No, I don't want to cut him. So no. if that's so, case. we got a proposal from Mr. Warburton to to reduce the bottom line by fifty-two thousand four hundred eighty-seven dollars. Is that the right number, Christy? Yes. And this is to basically bring back the cost of parking administration to reflect. It, as it was when it was done by the Park and Recreation Director for decades. Uh, yeah. Okay? Is that right? Yes. All right. <coughs> Do I? Can you have that figure? 52,000. That's the doctor. Redu yeah. Reducing the bottom line by 52,487. Yeah. I know I have a second by anybody. I'll second it. Ms. Barnes seconded it. Mr. Warburton, you wish to speak on your motion, I think. Well, yeah, and, and I think I, you just once again, a good segue in, from your last comment that many of us on this committee and have had, uh, had questions, and, and we're not going to get any operations thing, but I just got to know where I'm going with this. For many years, this was part of the recreation department, and this was a big part of the recreation department, you know, maybe 25% of what they do. It was taken away from them. Uh, I, I don't see any reason for it, and, and one of the reasons that really led me to look at this this year, Mr. Chairman, this has gone way up. I mean, it went, you know, it averaged 84,000, so now it, it proposes 137, which it includes a $22,000 parking director, a flat number like that. I, I don't get it. And we, they've got tons of supervisors, all this thing. I think it ran smoothly. We always make money down there. Um, I'd like to go back to what the original budget was because I think it was running fine. Okay. Any other comments on uh, or questions on this uh, motion? Mr. Pluff. She's got her head. You have a question? Can I just make a comment? <laughs> go ahead. Um, some of the money was moved from the police department budget into this budget, so I just want to make sure that you are aware of that. So um, the parking enforcement used to be in the for the people who give like the tickets down there and stuff, that part was in the police budget. So it's right. fine if you cut it from here, but you also are kind of cutting it out of the police because now that money is no longer in the police budget just to keep that. But in it mind. should be in the police budget. Well, right. you may want to put it back then. No. That's all I'm suggesting. I just want to make sure you're aware. No, of I am very well aware of it. We so. can't put it back unless we know how much it is. Right. I could probably figure that out from my notes in the back. Okay, any other comments on the proposed reduction? Mr. LeBrand. That's what they spent. This is what they I remember asking this just because of what Christy just said. I have some notes here I wrote. The revenue from 2018 season from the parking lots 
as of 9.30 was $498,209, which is close yeah. enough to what we need to know right now. And then revenue from parking tickets, because they, they combined they combined this. Is that correct? Be, before, the, the couple of people that worked this, do the tickets up on the numbered streets under were under the police department's budget. Is that sound about right? So they took it out of the police and they put it in this. And if you get rid of that, then those people probably won't be able to work next summer and give out tickets and raise that that revenue that I wrote here that Christy told us was um, I think the tickets I wrote down thirty nine thousand and then hyphen sixty six thousand so that's quite a bit of money I don't know that you know if they if, if the guys that wrote tickets wrote tickets for sixty six thousand dollars is that money that goes to the town revenue. From Jeez. those tickets, yes. Not right. from like a speeding ticket, but from the No, 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 tickets. but the parking tickets, yeah. right. Um, I don't know that's if why I, I was wanna... pointing that out to Brian. I know, so and he that's knew that why he still, wanted to put it back, gotta, some of it, not all of it. I mean, we got to put it back in the place. Hold on a second. Get to give Christy a chance to work on the number. Right. No, but you see what it, uh, the only thing yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, you're making the same case that Christy made. Right. right. Christy was, was working on producing a number. Okay. And so I'm going to give it an opportunity to do that. Okay. Okay, any other comments pending the invest or analysis by Christy on any other aspects of this motion, well, Mr. Walberg? Well, to Ms. LeBranch's point, the parking ticket, what you're referring to, is still under, the, it's all under the police department realm. On this, I just turned the page. I mean, it's, it's, it's under part time wage. It says PT, parking enforcement offices, right. $15 an hour times eight hours times three shifts times four offices times 11 weeks. And that number is $15,840, okay? Yeah, and so the, right above that, you have the parking enforcement direct to $22,000. Right, so if we have to move that or whatever, I think what Tim is saying, my motion is to reduce the bottom line. No, I understand, Brian. And as far as revenue goes, Steve, when I was running state parks, we had the same amount of people. So one year we made two million, next year we make a million and a half. It, it, it really is real relevant on who's working there, how many, I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but 400 and something thousand, that's great, we had a great summer. I mean, maybe next year, maybe 350. I mean, yeah. that's no, no, and I realize the weather, it's all weather related, weather driven. Anything else, anybody else? All right, Mr. Walbert, you want to change your motion to reflect the number that Christie's working on, is that correct? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. Well, I don't think we're ready to vote for this one. I mean, this is what happens when we create these things. You know, it, it's now, it's good, you know. Um, you want to come back to this one? Well, we need to give Christy time, so. Yeah. yeah. You got another one? Well, because I'm going to, she's going to have to do some, well, no, she won't do it. I'd like to visit cemetery. Uh-huh. Cemetery budget. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we asked, which we never, the presentation we got in here, and I think, Mr. Welch, I think you were here last that night with Mr. Chevalier, and I, we specifically asked, we were very confused. They were confused that they were getting raises they didn't even know, and I asked, we asked them to come back with the trustee. <coughs> uh, I appreciate the Warren articles, which we all approve for the cemetery, uh, from the Cemetery Burial Trust Fund, but when you look at the, the bottom line on the, the uh, the cemetery budget, um, it's gone up 81%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I brought up the subject about 47,840, the guy, Brian Chevalier, sat there, didn't even know that. He didn't even know what he was going to be making. And he didn't even know he was the, what was he called? The, the deacon? sexton. The sexton. He didn't even know it. So I'm concerned about how this whole budget was prepared. No, he knew he was called the sexton. He but he didn't know what he was going to do. No, get. he didn't know the definition. So can I just ask a question before I make a motion to the manager? Who, did we ever get any report or from the trustees <coughs> or from Mr. Chevalier on the questions we asked is why these big increases, especially when they put in three big warrant articles for all these contracted serious services, and they said they're going to come back to us and moving of vaults and all that stuff. And then health insurance, the question I have, 
if he's full time and he's deserving of health insurance, he didn't know the answer to that. I, I, I just don't know how I can, does anybody else feel that way? I just thought that we both, we were all on the same page on this. I mean, how did we arrive at the 90, that's a huge increase, 81% increase right. in the cemetery budget? What's yeah. the dollar amount? Well, but okay, but the dollar amount went from the actual until 2018, 98, 295, and they're requesting 223, 626. Yeah. Sounds a lot more than 81%. Well, it says 81, but you know what they did? It's misleading because, thank you, Mr. Chairman, because the contracted services <coughs> went from, it actually went um, up. 350 percent, but in dollar amount, it went up 7,000. Yeah. So that's why that number, it almost thinks that, you're right, it, it, the logical mind, right, Jerry would say it's actually more like 90-something, but I so, guess I'm just questioning. So the dollar my, difference is what? Uh, the dollar right? difference from the proposed, uh, the proposed 2019 budget, 223, 626, from the actual, well, actually, let me rephrase that, because this is, um, this is the old figures. Uh, Christy, what is the... Well, uh, Christy's working on something Okay, else right now. so the actual budgeted amount for 2018 was 123, 138. The requested amount is almost 100, actually almost $100,000 more. Yeah. So you're talking about a $100,000 increase. Yeah. Right. In the budget, mm, right. in the cemetery budget. And my question is, with four warrant articles, or at least three, if we approve it, all the work needs to be done well, why do we have this cemetery budget so high when we've never had it like this? For no, he was in. Was the cemetery? Well, no, they were in, but they had no information. Right. Nothing. Right. Well, did you bring up? The yeah, they, they they were not able. They to had they no idea. Know. Fred was answering some of the questions yeah. in previous meetings. Okay. But the cemetery trustees Can we themselves. We shed some light, Fred. Cemetery trustees themselves were not. She didn't have a. She didn't know what. We're not a fountain of. Uh, of, <laughs> yeah. of knowledge. As far as the wages were concerned, the cemetery trustees voted to increase the wages in accordance with what's in the budget. So these people are being paid in accordance with that now. They voted that last fall. But Fred, can I ask you a question? Because I brought this up last night to the school board because I'm very in tune. When I asked the trustee about that, she had no idea what that was for. I can't answer well, what right, somebody else I does, okay? <laughs> Uh, what I can tell you is that that was all discussed at a trustees oh, meeting. Boy. In fact, it was discussed at three different trustees meetings, and that's what they voted. They voted to give them raises in accordance with that. They also voted to hire in the next year two part-time additional employees. The cemetery, quite frankly, is in a mess. Mm -hmm. I don't want to underemphasize that, and I don't want to overemphasize it. We have moved approximately, I think, somewhere in the order of eight burials at this point who are in somebody else's grave slots. They're, they're $2,500 a piece to move those. That's you, you move the entire vault and everything. Yeah. It's done by a professional. Mm -hmm. um, we've also lost eight graves that we could sell, I understand, at this point. And there's more to come. Are we covered by insurance when that happens? No, we're not. And was any Anonymous and non-feasance isn't covered by insurance. Was any consultation done with the former cemetery director to have maybe have him help uh, give you guidance on what's going on down there? Well, we, we, I can't comment on that because of his litigation. <laughs> on the burial thing, you're probably going to get more. Uh, there are more, we don't and, know. And, and, and we're finding them as we go along. Yep, and, and the, the, the issue here really is uh, when someone comes in and they have a deed to a particular plot, and, and right. Brian's familiar how, with how they do this, there is a deed issued to every plot that you purchase. They come in, they show us the deed, they yep. have a burial to, to, in fact, go ahead and consummate and, and, and hire a, uh, a crew to come in and do that burial. And we go out and we look at the, uh, we look at the plot, and there's a stone on it with somebody else's name on it. Right. So and there are two or three bodies buried in it. Fred, let me ask you that, 47840, so <coughs> maybe you could help me. So is Mr. Chevalier, that's going to be a full-time position with health insurance? It's a part-time position, and the right. regular wages, there, are, there, are, there is he, and there is uh, two, 
Okay. More than half time part-time. employees. They're under the part time. They're under the part time mm-hmm. category. That's his wage. The regular is for a full time. Right. Yeah, the, 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 the title sexton is in the statute. That's why we're using it. Right, but what I'm saying is that's what I just asked. The regular yeah. wages say the line item funds the wages of a cemetery sexton and it shows 47840 right. just for that's, him. That's, yes. that's correct. That's just for him. That's what I'm asking. Right. So is he needing of the health insurance with that position? He, uh, he, there has always been a stipend in the in the budget or a cost in the budget for that. Um, as you can for see, a two person. Uh, for a two-person coverage, <coughs> uh, yes, that would be his. As, as but I got the well, the reason. That's a good question, I think, because that's twenty thousand dollars. That's correct. So has he committed? Like, for instance, if I don't take my insurance, I get you know whatever, but uh, whatever you want to call. It. Has he said that, because it's important, if not, we're going re- to reduce it. Is he going to take the ta- health insurance? Do we know? He's not going to be the person for sure. They don't know, right? They just want to hire someone. No, no. He's, oh. he's hired as a sexton. He is the permanent sexton. He he's is, only part-time right he, now. He is part-time right now. Right. And, this is proposed by Right. right. Mm-hmm. And, and, and if they make him full-time, that will be the figure that has to go in there to pay that, to pay that expense. I don't think we know what if he will take health insurance, if but we always, whenever well, right. we, whenever we right. put on a new, or put a position in that needs to be filled, it's not really new because there was a full time person there. Oh, I'm we always aware. put yeah, we always put in a health insurance cost. And we always base it on the two person plan right. for our lowest plan that we offer. I, so I that's just, how I got the twenty thousand. Yeah, but well, I just find it strange that I mean this guy was just swept right into the, the takeover. That there's been no discussion in six months or eight months since the other director has left to say to the new section, are you going to be wanting this or <coughs> you see what I'm saying? I, I don't. That's a decision they're going to, the cemetery trustees are going to have to make. But the cemetery trustees in all they, fairness. This, this is their budget. Well, this is the money they put in their budget. They have talked about it at three different meetings. Okay. If they don't understand what's in the budget, I, I can't. And I appreciate comment. that, but this is why those of us may vote against this budget. We specifically asked the trustees to come back more information. So I guess if I'm asking Fred Welch for 150000 and you're a town manager and you need me to come to a meeting to explain, because you've said three times tonight that the trustees did this, wouldn't you think they'd <coughs> want to be here to answer these questions? I can't answer that for you because I'm, pl- I'm placing my mind. No, I understand that. I, uh, I, I think when they left here, they left here with the understanding that they weren't coming back. I think that's what they left with an understanding with. Frankly, that's the understanding I left that meeting with. No. We asked for more information because... Well. The trustee said that she, they were very confused, and, and we, well, I'd have to watch whatever, but I just found it interesting because they always showed up before, but I don't know. Prince in their budget, so go ahead. I, I don't have Christy, anything. do you have a number that you're working on? I mean that. For the parking? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to share it with them? Yes, okay. I can share it with you. Yeah. The number for the part-time parking enforcement officers is the $15,840. So that should be that there. was just for the parking enforcement whether you choose to leave it here or put it into the police budget or remove it that's up to the budget committee but I just want to share all the information with you just so you know that if you do cut that whole amount you you know cut the 15,000 for parking enforcement out also. right so if we excluded that 15,840 yeah, from the motion yeah. we could leave we could hold the police department harmless with this cut right in regards to parking enforcement right. So that, that 52 would have become 37. Right. Yeah, so it, it, the numbers would be uh, the new budget amount. If you chose well, to leave in the 15,000, it would be $100,566. And the delta from the um, 2000 and from the proposed or whatever is 36,647. Thirty six six four seven. Mm-hmm. So your motion is actually for thirty six six four seven. Hold on, I have to take all this back. You know why? Because this is the one that had the mathematical correction, and I'm looking at my old Uh-oh. book. So it's actually going to be more money, more of a delta. So hold on one sec. Oh, Let me very good. <laughs> get yeah, you the new a, number. Yeah, the number we should be working off it, of right? is the budget is two hundred thirteen thousand two eighty four. And if you take off the the thirty, let's see. Say that again. Two hundred what? Let her it's, let her think. Wait, hold on. We're on cemetery. Oh no, we're on parking. Sorry. Right. I was going to say that's way off. I'm sorry. I can, I stand corrected. <laughs> I stand corrected. The cemetery one is throwing me off because there was a correction in there. Yep. My numbers are. 
accurate for what I gave a second what? ago. All right, so you think the motion uh, to, would be numerically representative of the intent of Brian by saying $36,647 reduction in the bottom line, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. So we have a motion, Mr. Warburton, right? And Correct. we have a second, whoever it was. I'll second. Oh, Regina was the second, that's right. So and we're reducing the bottom line by the stated $36,647 which is intended to reflect the well, change back to how parking administration was done relative to the money. And pretty yes, everybody. When Diana Martin was here. And pretty much the thirty six six four seven includes the twenty two thousand dollars that would have been the proposed yeah. so in actuality we're only cutting like fourteen thousand dollars. I'm no I'm, I'm not saying that, but so you want to say to the public this is not a bad thing because we're really not changing. We, we went along with what Christy said with the parking enforcement. So I like this motion. 36647 uh, is my figure. Any, well, that's uh, the savings. The savings is well, the how, What was the The final motion one? is 100 th reduced from 137 to 213. The motion to amend is 100,566. We're only amending the bottom line anyway. So. Right, right. Yeah. And I'll make that motion. Yeah, we already did. It's thirty-six thousand six hundred forty thousand dollars, six hundred forty-seven dollar reduction in the bottom line that's <coughs> being proposed. Does everyone understand that? Yes. Motion. Yes. Finally. Okay, great. Does anyone want to talk about it? Great. Thank you. <laughs> We're all ready to vote on this, right? Yes. Okay. All those in favor of this proposed reduction, raise your hand. All those opposed, raise your hand. All those abstaining, raise your hand. What's the vote? So everyone was in favor except Jerry, who abstained. 7 1. Oh, 7 0. Seven, zero. So, so we're back to the cemetery. Let me so just go through some of the line items. Cemetery? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Thank you, Fred. Hold on. Let me just get, just get to that cemetery <sighs> thing again. Make oh, sure you oh. use my sheet that I. Tonight sheet? Yeah. Yeah. yeah my on. other sheet doesn't have the budget committee. You know what? Hold on one on second. Her, so. That's where I was making a mistake a minute ago and I got confused. Oh, we were talking about parking. Let me just grab <coughs> that real quick. Hold on. Because you found that mathematical error, Brian, and that's been corrected. That's why I suggested you make sure you look at the um, sheets that were given tonight. Hold on one second. Is this the one yeah, dated 12, 12 4? Yeah. 110. 110 tonight? Yeah, she gave us a handout. Yeah, I know that, but I... And it's the same one I emailed to you. I know, but you had it all in a nice clip, and where yes. I can't seem to find it right now. It's on OB, oh, where it is. I got OBS it. OBS 6. Hold it, hold on. I got it. Hold on. OBS 6 it is. Yes. What did you say? OBS I just want to make sure OBS we're all talking about the same thing. Uh, uh, right. What page is it? OBS 6. OBS 6. Thank you. All right, I'm there. <laughs> thank you, Fred. Well, because we get these said, but thank you. You have the budget committee column high, uh, populated on the sheet you're looking at. Oh, right? very nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, and the total should be two hundred thirteen thousand two hundred eighty-four dollars. Right. I just want to make sure we're all working for yeah. the same document. Yeah. Okay. Where, where is it? At the total at the bottom for cemeteries. No, I put it right here. You just said two thirty-four. Two thirteen. Two eighty-four. Two eighty-four. Where is it though? At the bottom right of the page. OS OBS6. I have it right here. I don't see. You said BS6, OBS6. I used the wrong sheet. Here. This says January 3rd, the one I just got tonight, right here. This, this one says 110. Here, take this. Well, dated 110. Yeah, all the ones are dated 110 from tonight. All right, well, uh, I, I there probably isn't a change. But. 10, Right, you emailed this anyway, right? Yeah, okay. So, I'm sorry, yes, 223. 213-284. Right. 213-284, okay, yeah. I'm on that page, yeah. Let's start with contracted services because the rest of them are based upon wages or employment data and so on and so forth, and you how, you're you very familiar on how that works anyhow yep. in, the, in the system. Uh, contracted services. Uh, that has to do with uh, all of the improvements that need to be done in order to move grave sites. We're continuing to do that. Um, we, we end up having to do maintenance work, which hasn't been done in a long time. Um, give you an idea of the condition of the grounds up there. 
One of the areas that they went last fall to clean up and rake up, which hadn't been able to be done because they hadn't had the time and equipment and material, uh, there was no grass left. All the grass in that particular area up in the back of the cemetery is completely gone. It has to be completely replanted and seeded and, and treated and so on and so forth. Um, the areas in the front of the cemetery, same thing. It's just loaded with grubs. They're eating the grass right out of the cemetery. Wow. So there's a lot of money in there to correct those problems. That's under contracted services, Fred? Yeah, that will be under contracted services. Yes. I mean, that's a, those are expensive things to do. Yeah. Um, telephone, of course, is, 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 is pretty flat. That's um, because we do have a telephone in there. We do have a message center in there in case people need to, uh, need to call and give messages. Electric. Uh, of course, we're doing a little bit of retrofit in there because we're closing up and putting some lighting in the garage and so forth, so there's a small increase there. Uh, heating fuel, same way. There's an increase there because we intend to put a, a gas, gas heat in there mm -hmm. in order so they can do work in the wintertime yeah, when yeah. they need to. Mm -hmm. um, water, uh, that's strictly off the water rate that was given to us by the, uh, the water company, so uh, I think that's... In my opinion, that's very high, but that's what the water, water rate brings it, brings it to. Maintenance and repairs, uh, we tried to keep that flat. Uh, as you know, they try to do all their own repair work in there, and Brian, you're familiar with that over the years. They've done a lot of that in-house. Um, supplies and expenses, now we get down into costs because they need, they need equipment. Uh, they've been doing uh, chainsaw cutting without the proper safety equipment. We need to buy that equipment in order for them to continue those cleanup expenses, things of that nature. Um, there's also uh, on supplies and expenses, you have uh, uh, chaps, you've got uh, all those uh, safety helmets, goggles, uh, ear, ear pieces, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, then they have the rakes and shovels and whatever else they need in that area. And there will be some of those that need to be replaced along with uh, trimmers. Uh, before, apparently, what we've been doing is we've been buying the type of trimmer you and I would buy in our, our yard. Mm -hmm. and they don't last very long because they're just yard-type trimmers instead of cemetery-type trimmers. So we're trying to buy some, some heavy-duty jobs Commercial. out of this account that will last for a couple of two or three years. Did they use Husqvarna or John Deere? You know, uh, John Deere, I think, is what they're looking to use because that's a better, and Husqvarna is another good one as well. Um, so that line is doubled, more than double for Oh yeah, it, it doesn't take much when you get into commercial grade well, equipment to, right. to, to spend money on this equipment. It's very expensive stuff. Uh, we'd like to find a way to get a, a fleet of goats to go in there and take care of it, but it just doesn't work right now. Um, gasoline, uh, that's an estimate based upon the fact that we're gonna have a tractor uh, and we have other equipment that we're running in addition to the mowers tractor. and so forth. Cemetery improvements, we have to do some improvements in the cemetery for stones. We have a number of stones that have been toppled. Uh, these are the spiral type, uh, spire type stones. We've had a couple that have been, tops of them have been knocked off. They're gonna to have to be reset commercially. Um, and there are, if you go up and take a look, <clears throat> it's interesting because I did. I went through and purposely walked through a large portion of the cemetery. There are, something in the order of 275 bull pines in there. Oh, you know, yeah. And you walk by a bunch of them, most of them have, are infested with ants, carpenter ants. <laughs> yeah. But those that, uh, that are in there, a lot of them you'll walk by and you'll see that the stones, the headstones are this high off the ground. They're inside the trees. They've been picked right up off the ground. The roots. Those are gonna have to be taken down. They're gonna have, the stones are gonna have to be reset. We have a dozen stones that we're gonna have to replace because they're completely deteriorated and broken. Uh, those things are expensive. Replacement equipment, uh, the cemetery trustees, they had discussed this with the, uh, with the crews, and they had been buying uh, non-commercial lawn mowers, the, the riding mowers, and yeah. we've both seen them, and I, I know Brian's seen them. Uh, this money is to purchase two commercial riding mowers and the equipment that goes with them. And that's expensive stuff, it's not cheap. Yeah. So we, there's a lot of money in there for that. Hopefully this equipment, instead of being replaced every two or three years, it's gonna be replaced every five or six years because it is commercial grade. That kind of gives you a rundown of what they told me, what they asked me for in the budget, what they talked about, and we estimated those costs out and put them in the budget for them. 
So he's gone from 118 to 118,000 to 213. Yeah, and my estimation, having been a cemetery sexton, having been a public works director for quite a number of years, is that that's light. Yeah. They could use another hundred grand in order to get done in, in less than ten years. What they need to do. What, what was the uh, problem with the coats? Uh, we don't, don't allow animals to the cemetery. That's Both the problem purpose. with the coats. So it's the selectman's policy that's preventing it. No, the cemetery trustees don't allow animals in the. Uh, so in the, the cemetery trustees yeah. themselves are not allowed. There's a regulation against the animals in the. So, they, but they could change that. Well, they could, but then again, they'd have to clean up for the goats. But well, they make good fertilizer too, don't they? Well, it's good fertilizer. Did you say? Uh, are you saying oh, goats, goats or goats? Goats. goats. In case you didn't know it, Brian. <laughs> If well, you don't want to buy the weed rippers, you got to buy the goats. For over a hundred years, the White House itself, its yeah. lawnmower was a was a goat. Oh, the, the, okay. So you put a goat out there, it'll eat the grass. That well, we weren't going to talk dandy. about those. It's like beavers and dams, goats and grass. We weren't going to talk about those who wanted to hold the office, just those who wanted to do the work. Yeah. So I mean, it's a perfectly viable approach in my mind to use goats for such a such well, a task. Well, there, that's something that's been going on recently in the county. Yeah. In a number of different instances, and it's something that's going to have to probably be done in the cemetery real soon, because there's a number of areas in there that need to be cleaned out that are infested with uh, things that we shouldn't be touching. So we're going to go with coats eventually. Eventually, I think that's going to happen. Yeah. So maybe we don't need those commercial rider mowers. Well, you still got the whole cemetery to mow. You got the rest of more goats. Uh, no, that uh, you need too many goats to do that. That's a pretty big cemetery. Then we, then we have to hire a goat herder. And give health insurance. And a dog. And health insurance. Who can walk the goat? The dog. For the goat herder. He can. He's going to walk the. We could have no, honorary right. goat herders, uh, and we could we could uh, have Fred, special helmets for them. Fred, thank you, and I, I want to thank you for this breakdown because I only had a couple of comments as a result. So, I guess the overall thing is, I mean, and then you look at that default number. So the one that stands out, contract of services. Oh yeah. We know thirteen five default would be three thousand because it goes back to the actual of eighteen. So my, on those columns that are pretty go up pretty lower than what you're asking. And, and that this is probably not a fair question for you because you know, not the trustee, but can you? Are you going to be able to live with? I mean, these this some major stuff that needs to be done here, right? I mean, and there I, is. And, and I will say um, to Mr. Walsh's benefit because he and I, <laughs> I, I actually outfitted the Seacoast Parks with the John Deere's. Yeah, you did. Because yeah. we had Husqvarna's, and Fred and I used to have discussions. That's another story altogether, because they could only equip to do certain certain small areas and they That's don't correct. last long. So these, this price for that is fine. The only other question I have is, and, and I'm glad, I really appreciate you and Christy doing this. Um, Fred, so why, with the Warren articles we did, why wouldn't that have been put in a, uh, the Warren article be funded by the cemetery uh, burial fund, I guess? Is that because well, it's, a, it's a basic expense, a one-time? The, the Warren articles because it's capital equipment. Okay. We wanted to take it out of the capital account. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have anything else. Right. Mr. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not dealing with any motions now, right? I, I don't think so. Uh, okay. No. We I, all understand that there is no motion on the table, correct? One, yeah. one question. Clarification. Sure. sure. You said gasoline for the tractor? I think that one's diesel, but the, all the other equipment's gas. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. The, all the small yeah. stuff is well, gas. When we say gasoline in the cemetery, everything had been lumped under one category, oh, so we just they, they lumped They separated everything. it out. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Didn't segregate it. So. Yeah, we're, we're still discussing the budget number we're going to put in the budget warrant article. Okay. Uh, Mr. LeBranch. Okay. I'd, I'd like to ask um, the manager a couple of questions. The cemetery trustees, do they get paid? No, sir. Okay, that answers that. <laughs> now, one other thing is that... Um, Having talked to um, one of the cemetery trustees, I understand that the uh, the the way it was the way things were being done is that there was a, a shoebox perhaps with uh, some file cards in it, and and so when a new cemetery trustee was got in there a couple of years ago, um, it was it's being put into a computer. And I'm kind of surprised under the supplies that I don't see any. There's office supplies, $500. I'm su who's supplying the computer? The, 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 the
They already bought that? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. been there for a couple years. Okay, all right, thank you. That answers that question. Okay. Are right. they are still ready? working on the project? Yeah. Okay, okay. is you. there any other amendments to consider relative to this budget number? I see none. So, you guys want to go? I, I adjusted the number, Christy. I'm sure you agree the new number is $28,104,882. I didn't adjust it yet because I didn't know if you guys were going to make more yeah. motions. Put up there. Apparently not. Uh, I reduced it by the 36647 that we I was just keeping a tally here because yep. I wasn't sure where we were going. I scratched uh, out the base up there on the screen mm -hmm. and put the calculated oh, number on, on next to it. Eight, eight, two. So the new number is So, same when we have no further amendments, I assume we're going to move this number. Oh, make what's a motion? the number again? It's up on the screen. Yeah, 28 Can I make a motion to move it? So done. I need a second. Now the motion is to put this, this number, $28,141,882, in the budget warrant article as the proposed budget number. Right. That's my motion. Right. We'll have a second. We'll have a second vote on the recommendation after this. Any discussion? Great. All those in favor, raise your hand. That would be almost everybody. All those opposed? Jerry's uh, abstaining. I'm, I'm in favor, yes. Everyone's in favor except Jerry is abstaining. So we have 701. Yeah, and now we have a motion by Mr. LeBrant, seconded by okay. Mr. Mora, to recommend this budget warrant article. Any discussion on the recommendation vote of this warrant article? Okay, all those who actually want to recommend this budget warrant article, please raise your hand, Mr. LaBranch. Uh, okay, all those who oppose recommending this warrant article, please raise your hand. That would be every, almost everybody else. What are you doing, Jerry? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to abstain. Oh. Six. Okay, so we have one opposed, that's LaBranch. One abstain, that's uh, Zanoy. Everyone else voted nay. Also known as no. Who was in favor? It's the branch. You said one was opposed. He was in favor, right? I was, I I was in yeah, favor of yeah. this new number that I moved. The branch was the one in favor. Right. Everybody else. Zanoy was, was the one in abstention. Right. That Everyone was, else was voted the, negative. Right. Not one six one. Yep. Yeah, thank you. So that's one six one on our magic database vote here, which I will now populate. No. <coughs> You've already 